This is the Up and Baby Vista V3, and today we're going to show you how to fold this model down with the seat facing forwards, reversed with the bassinet, and also how to remove elements in order to pack it away as small as possible. So, in order to fold it down with the seat facing forwards, which is the only way to fold it down as a single piece model, in the other cases you have to remove the seat or the bassinet, first thing you're going to want to do is to apply the brakes. You're going to need the handle to be in its uppermost position. Then you're going to want to pull back the canopy and you're going to want to adjust the seat so that it is parallel with the handle arms, which is one position uh, lower than its fully upright position. At that point, there are these triggers on the sides and you're just going to pull in on those triggers and fold it down. And there's a little safety latch that will catch here. And then you can press in on these buttons on either side of the leg rest in order to fold down the leg rest as well. Uh, one of the problems with the Vista, in my opinion, is there's no obvious way to lift it at this point. Some people do use the bumper bar, but I think this is risky. The bumper bar is not meant to take that much weight all the time. I tend to lift it here with a couple of fingers. It's a little bit painful like this, but you can also just take it on its side and lift it by the bars as well. All right, in order to fold this model up again, you're going to need to pull out a little bit on the handle and then you can press in on the safety latch and at that point you can lift up the whole thing and it'll click into place and then you can readjust your leg rest canopy and so on all right when the seat is reversed as such you will then need to remove the seat frame because the seat frame does not fold back far enough for it then to fold down as a single piece. As I mentioned, if you were to try to fold it with the seat reverse, it, it just doesn't work. It gets stuck there. Even if we were, say, to lift this all the way up, you still, there's nowhere for the seat to go. So. So there are these two buttons on the side here. You do need to press both sides of the seat frame. You can lift off the seat frame and you have that separately to deal with. And otherwise you're gonna fold down the chassis in the same way. So brakes on, handle in its uppermost position, pull up on those triggers and press down until it folds. If you're using the model with the bassinet, then you're going to need to remove it. Here on the canopy is a handle and there's a button you're going to press in on. This is going to change these little indicators here. And then you can lift off the uh, bassinet to fold down the chassis the same way we did in the other cases, just as such. All right, if you want to pack this away then a bit smaller, it's all about removing elements. So with the chassis itself, you're going to remove the wheels. Here in the back, you just press in on the center of the wheel and they will come off. In the front, behind the uh, hub, there's a little dial. You need to pull it over to the side and then you can pull out these front wheels. Then we can put down the handle, since we're aiming for as small a package as possible, pull up on those triggers, pull it down, and it will just be like this. With the seat frame, you can get it a tad smaller by removing that bumper bar and possibly folding down that leg rest. While with the bassinet, we can lower down the canopy. It's two buttons here on either side. And then you can actually collapse down the bassinet. So open it up. And then beneath the mattress and these side walls are these struts with a little strap. We're just going to pull up on them. and the bassinet will fold flat. 
So in any case, that's our guide on folding down the Upavita Vista V3. We hope this was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.